Wisconsin coming off another Rose Bowl appearance in 2019. Looking forward to 2020 with Tyler Hunt from SB Nation's Bucky's fifth quarter. Let's look at uh, the defense. Chris Orr, Zach Bond move on. They take a ton of tackles for loss and sacks with them. I think one of the things that was lost in the loss against Oregon was how well the defense played against an NFL top five or six pick in the draft until the final drive of the game held them under 200 yards of total offense. Uh, I would assume that it's at least going to be another stellar Wisconsin group, even if it's not vintage on defense. You've got experience coming back up front and uh, in the secondary as well. Yeah, it's not often that, you know, you look at Wisconsin's defense, you usually think of of linebackers that will carry you and anchor you. And part of that will be the case with Jack Sanborn, kind of an underrated guy that's coming back. We'll, we'll definitely anchor the middle. But I think the strength of this defense is going to be for once in the secondary. You look at it, the safety positions, you've got Eric Burrell, who's definitely an all Big Ten type player coming back. Uh, you've got Reggie Pearson, who who played really well at the other safety position, and then uh, Scott Nelson, who had a really good freshman year, banged up his knee his sophomore year, but coming back, and if he's potentially playing the way he did uh, early in his career, it could be phenomenal. And then you look at the the corners, uh, Fayon Hicks, Rashad Wild Goose, Caesar Williams, all guys that played a lot last year coming back. So uh, across the board, I know there's some big pieces to, of course, fill with, with Chris Orr and Zach Vaughn, and that Zach Bond is probably the more concerning one at that outside linebacker position. But overall, the defense uh, looks strong in the back. And then you've got two seniors on the, the ends and Keanu Benton, who really stepped up at nose tackle. So a lot of pieces where you can see this defense pre and pretty good if they can figure those those couple missing parts out. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot uh, and reading a lot about Benton uh, having a, a really good 2019 season and possibly being one of the better interior linemen in the game coming up here in 2020. Uh, Tyler, it's a situation in Wisconsin where the standard has been set. A Big Ten Western Division and trip to the title game in the conference seems to be the line of demarcation in terms of a successful season. Is there any reason to believe, despite uh, the emergence of Minnesota and the presence of Iowa, to think any different in 2020? Uh, I may be a little biased, but I, I don't think so right now. I think there's definitely some question marks that have to be answered. Uh, you have to replace Jonathan Taylor, which is going to be a, a very tough job, and then that gets compounded when you have to replace Quintes Cephas and, and two you know senior linebackers that really did a good job for you. But uh, I look across the Big Ten West, and I think there's some other programs kind of going through the same thing. Uh, you know, you look at Minnesota replacing some coordinators and uh, some pieces that way. Uh, thankfully for the Badgers, they're not replacing you know Paul Chris, Joe Rudolph, Jim Leonard. So. With this weird condensed, you know, no spring football, I think they're in a good spot compared to other places that they don't have to break in, uh, you know, a new quarterback, uh, a new system or anything like that. So I, I think the consistency of Wisconsin might uh, help them and will them to hopefully an, another appearance in, in Indianapolis. And then it's just a matter of getting over that uh, dreaded hump of Ohio State or Penn State, which has caused uh, Badger fans a lot of heartache over the last few years. We are breaking down rosters across the country here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please lock it in. Once you subscribe, you hit the bell to get the notifications and know when we go live, which is just about every day. Tyler Hunt does his work along the staff uh, with the rest of the staff there at SB Nation's Bucky's fifth quarter. And certainly join him and the crew as they get you set for Big Ten football uh, the Badger way uh, this fall. Tyler, appreciate you stopping by. I'm glad to hear that everything's going well at this point, and hopefully we'll continue to keep our fingers crossed for college football this year. Fingers crossed. That sounds good for me, Mark. Thank you.